Yes, for the first time I get to talk about the fact that there will be a season five. Yes! Yes! Martello! Emily. Set. Roman alarm clock. Sorry. They're both so incredible. Please don't make me choose. <laughs> Thank you. I really needed this. Finally, the day has come. Emily in Paris. Season five is officially on its way. And yes, I cannot wait for it. After that burning season four ending, I doubt anyone was ready to say goodbye to Emily in Paris yet. Thankfully, we won't have to. There's no place like Rome. Netflix just officially released Emily in Paris season five. Show creator Darren Starr expressed his enthusiasm, saying, we're thrilled to continue Emily's adventures in Rome and Paris. As you may remember, Emily's whirlwind romance with Marcello in Rome took a dramatic turn last season. After he started ghosting her due to Sylvie's interference, Emily flew to Rome to find him, juggling both personal drama and professional challenges. Their romance hit a snag when Marcello assumed she was only there for work. Luckily, his mother overheard Emily's real intentions, leading to a reconciliation and ending the season on a hopeful note. Are you excited to see Emily finding a new romance in her life? Or do you think she moved on too fast? Let me know in the comments. Meanwhile, Sylvie and the Agents Grateau team faced a tense business deal with Marcello's mother. The deal nearly fell through, but Sylvie managed to secure a six-month trial allowing Emily to run the Rome office. Sure, it's another success for Emily, but it adds fuel to the debate over her luck and how she seems to effortlessly thrive. Let's be honest, her work scenes are a bit cringy as she seems to get away with everything and can solve any problem way too easily. One second. Hmm, pee pee, wee wee. <laughs> Hashtag toilet. You are so talented. What do you think about Emily's seemingly easy success? Let me know in the comments below. Gabriel, on the other hand, earned a Michelin star, but couldn't shake thoughts of Emily. He even left her a heartfelt voicemail, setting up some major romantic tension for next season. But I'll focus on his change of heart a bit later. For now, just know that Gabriel is once again in love with Emily. But once again, it is too little too late. You okay, mate? Um. Now, on to season five. What will happen next in the hit Netflix series? First, let's debunk the rumors that the show will move to Rome and even change its name as Emily in Rome. Even though a lot of fans are fans of the Rome scenes and express their desire to see the show exploring another country, it seems like they are determined to continue their journey in Paris. Well, mostly. The showrunner just confirmed that the show's name will remain as Emily in Paris. However, we will continue seeing Emily going back and forth between Paris and Rome in season five, which is better than nothing, I guess. Apparently, the decision to set part of the new season in Rome aims to keep the audience on their toes and expand the show's scope. And we can see that it worked based on season four statistics. Season four was a major success, debuting at number one on Netflix's global top 10, with 19.9 million views in its first four days and staying in the top 10 for four consecutive weeks. Season five is sure to bring more chaos as Emily balances her new romance with Marcello, unresolved feelings for Gabriel, and managing the Rome office. But things won't be simple, as Gabriel had a last minute realization in season four about his feelings for Emily. Now, at this point, I think we should talk about what the hell Gabriel is doing. I know a lot of you guys still adore him and believe that he is the one true love of Emily, but come on, you guys, how long can he go on like this, breaking Emily's heart at every single opportunity? Aren't we done with his last minute realizations already? I'm open. I tell you how I feel, but you, you don't communicate with me. Maybe there's something to do with the fact that we only communicate in your language, not mine. Do you want to know how I feel? Yes. Yes, I really do. I'd cross the ocean for you. I'd dive into the deepest sea. My soul is sold out for you. I'd give you everything that you need. If you don't remember, Emily and Gabriel's romance in Emily in Paris had been a roller coaster since the show's beginning. 
It started in season one when Emily moved to Paris and met Gabriel, her downstairs neighbor, who was also a talented chef. Their chemistry was instant and the tension between them grew despite Gabriel having a girlfriend, Camille. Throughout season one, Emily and Gabriel's flirtation built up. They shared meaningful conversations, stolen glances, and moments that brought them close to crossing the line. The turning point came in the season finale when Gabriel planned to leave Paris for Normandy to open his own restaurant. With his departure imminent, they finally gave in to their feelings and spent a passionate night together. However, things got complicated when Gabriel decided to stay in Paris due to a last minute investment from Camille's family, putting their romance in a love triangle. In season two, Emily tried to distance herself from Gabriel, especially after learning that Camille still had feelings for him. Despite their best efforts, their chemistry resurfaced. Emily battled with guilt over betraying Camille, leading to several conflicts and misunderstandings. By the end of season two, their relationship remained unresolved, with Emily torn between her romantic feelings for Gabriel and her loyalty to Camille. In season three, they continued to navigate their messy feelings, even as Gabriel pursued other romantic interests. His lingering connection to Emily became increasingly apparent. And in season four, when we assumed he had finally come to his senses and would have an amazing romance with Emily, he once again has managed to ruin everything. I'm sorry, you mean to tell me that Gabriel thinks that he can go to spend Christmas with Camille and her family after they almost got married and they are expecting a child and I get it, like they do need to be able to co-parent, but he's gonna still go and spend Christmas with her and her family on this getaway? And Emily is just like, okay with that. Like I understand Emily ended up going later, but like they invited her just to be nice. So when Camille's brother says to Emily, you are the other woman, like whose family is he with for Christmas? Her brother's absolutely correct. And I hope that the end game of this show is for Gabrielle to end up with Camille because this does not work at all. And I actually love Marcello. Versus all the drama with Gabrielle. Like, when she, he still went, him and Camille broke up and he still went to spend Christmas with Camille and her family. And I understand, you know, he thought she was pregnant, but still like you have a girlfriend, bud. Emily is, is a much bigger woman than I am because I, I don't know how I would feel in that situation at that moment. If the baby were born, I think it would be different, but the baby not even being there and he's still choosing to spend Christmas with Camille and her family when they almost just got married. Yeah, no. Different story if the baby was already born. Baby's not even here. Baby wasn't even real, okay? Absolute insanity, sorry to tell you. And I really do like Marcello. Like I know he was perhaps a little bit too upset about that whole situation of her mixing like her trip and turning it into like a business trip, but like whatever, you know, I still really like him. Thankfully, it seems like Emily won't give up on her happiness for Gabriel's sake that easily this time. Darren Starr just confirmed that Emily's relationship with Marcello will be a focal point in season five, but Gabriel's return adds layers of drama. During an appearance on Good Morning America, Lily Collins also hinted at the new dynamics between Emily and Marcello, noting how this new romance challenges her character's quest for a work-life balance. Are you excited to see more of Marcello in the series? Can't wait to hear your thoughts about him. Love it or hate it, the show's appeal is undeniable. It's the ultimate escapism, with dreamy streets, stunning fashion, and that fantasy version of Paris we all wish were true. Yet the critics have their points. The unrealistic portrayal of Parisian life and Emily's never-ending luck can be a bit much. Still, I'm glad that we will get yet another season of this pure escapism. Are you as happy as I am? For more content on Emily in Paris, make sure to like and follow. Click on the video on the screen to learn more about the show's fifth season.